What is going on everybody? Mark here back with a new tutorial. It has been quite some time since I did something like this, but better late than never. I've been pretty busy doing things in life, but nonetheless, this is M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S. And today I'm going to teach you how to improve your outdoor color correction with basically one layer, one step, one thing. So right here I have the color mat, which is the, if you hit new item, you can go to color mat. And then we could, you know, it's just going to be the exact frame rate of your timeline. Doesn't really matter right now. And you choose your color. But if you're shooting outdoors and let's say it's going to look like this. Um, this is actually after color correction. If you stay to the end of the video, I will teach you how to um, or at least show you how to color correct with that to this. This is the R6 Canon R6 uh, shot in 4K, 4K 60, which is pretty cool. And then I slowed it down. 40% in this least timeline just to show you slow motion 4k 60 which is pretty nice so other than those settings what we're really going to focus on is why does this little blob of haze look so good and you could do this with an adjustment layer kind of with um like adding another lumetri effect on top of it if you have questions of course let me know in the comments but what we're going to do is we're going to take our color mat and i could show you what i have here i'm going to redo it for you but i applied a mask to a light orange color mat and I applied a screen blend mode and a Gaussian blur and then I moved it, the mask to the top left corner to almost create like a fake sun, like a glare, a haze. Uh, it looks very tasteful in my opinion and the ability to play with the blend mode really brings it all home. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So I'll go to here and then I'll basically start with this and then I'll expand the circle kind of like that. And it's really just masking the entire orange blob and what I can do here is I could feather the mask a little bit here just to add a little um, make it easier later which we're going to want to do and right here it gives you the option for blend mode and this particular one at least in my opinion on this shot um, looks better with the screen blend mode so we're going to hit screen you can't see anything done right now to it so let's add a layer under it so this is let me remove also this color correction so that's what it's going to look like I'll also get rid of the the warp stabilized because we don't need it right now. That's what it's going to look like right now without any color correction. Obviously, it's a little off because of the shot is not color corrected yet, but we're going to make it all match together. We have the feathered mask. And lastly, we're going to add some more feathering and just general blur to it because it's still too, you know, it's still too annoying. It's still too large. So we can do blurriness and you could take this and you could um, mess with it a little bit. And then you could actually, if you would like to, I don't even think I blurred it that much in the last one. Um, but in just for the sake of this video, we could take the motion of it and we could even like, um, as long as you're not going to get lines over here, which you shouldn't, you can move it and you could play with the scale if you want. Um, something like that. You know, you could do things like that. The opacity, you could see if I like scroll through this, you can automatically um, or at least quickly change through the options here but in this case we're going to go back to screen and i think that just looks the best but it doesn't look great yet because we haven't color corrected this that's the original bubble which looks way better without the blur um, which actually had the settings of feather of 680 opacity at 22 that's really also something i did i changed the mask opacity i did not mention that before yeah so by messing with the opacity you could really mess with the intensity uh, so let's recolor that and see if we can recreate that for you guys and show you almost how i color correct footage i would usually do this before i made the bubble the reason i made the bubble this color because of the way i color correct it it just looks like it's sunny it's kind of yellowy orange out so it just matched um with that little blob there and this is kind of what it looks like played out Ideally, I would have the sequence when I rendered for the clients, I would do it as 23.976. So really, this is the way the shot looks. I think it looks way better, but let's color correct it really quick. We're going to probably fast forward through this. All right, so it was something similar to that, like it was close. It's a different every time. That's the fun part about coloring. This is a little bit brighter in yellow. I guess I could go a little bit brighter here with the whites uh, or the exposure. Yeah, it's it's getting really close now. And then I could probably mess around with the um, the curves again, like lower the red saturation, maybe make the red a little bit more orange. Um, it's it's pretty close. I actually like the new one a little bit more. So that's that's the benefit of doing it over. We're gonna take the color mat 
and we're gonna duplicate it, and that's pretty much what we're gonna get. Um, I actually see why I didn't do the Gaussian Blur. Let's just for fun use the same one I originally had. All right, everybody, and that is how you improve your outdoor color correction in one step. As you can see, since I colored it as a yellow scene, I wouldn't want to make this color mat any other color. I want to make it look like the sun in that setting. So you kind of want to make it look like natural. Maybe if you were in a, like, you can even do this for creative purposes. If you're in like a very blue scene or like a watery scene, you could probably do splotches on the screen. Um, and it would probably look cool in some instances. I don't overdo it, but in this case, I think the color mat on top, not this one. So these ones over here, I think they look really great. Definitely mess with the settings on these guys. This one actually has a mass capacity of 100. And this one actually has a mass capacity of 22. So scene by scene, everybody, scene by scene, definitely play with your settings. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So I hope this improves your outdoor color correction. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Mark Dometti. That is M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S for my Instagram. That's Mark Darts. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.